Hi all, welcome to part 10 of the video lecture on ER model and let me tell you this is the last uh, video lecture I am preparing on this topic and uh, topic is over almost right. So we already seen the complete ER diagram of the company database in the last video. Okay, so hope you are in the track and now I just want to tell you how that structural constraint needs to be represented. So for that I prepared this video and one more different examples or uh, example also we will see. So this is something we discussed in the last video. Hope you remember this. I am not going to repeat it. The employee uh, depart uh, department dependent depends uh, dependent supervision uh, i hope you remember all those things right project and also this particular thing and what about the attributes uh, everything i explained now just focus on the cardinality ratio of um, and the participation constraint of uh, this particular relationship so here the in uh, in the normal diagram uh, where you are separate, uh, separately representing cardinality ratio and participation constraint what we saw is so let's take this example works for relationship and here you can see that a particular department if you are focusing there will be n employees associated with it okay uh, but uh, that n you are representing here okay so this is how they are, are drawing in the textbook i i don't know exactly why why if I, we are changing this also it is fine like that i feel but anyway you follow this uh, notation used in the textbook and similarly for an employee he is working on maximum one department here one department can have a hold a maximum n number of um, employees so um, next we are going to s explore something called as the uh, min max constraint where the minimum and the maximum cardinality we simply represent like this and we write it over uh, this particular line right at this end instead of this one we will write something like this right and this maximum is right now you know like this one and then okay now particularly minimum i i will tell you uh, but uh, so here also the we, we will write that minimum and the maximum okay now if you are focusing on this uh, at this point um minimum i don't know what about maximum for depart department maximum how many people can uh, participate uh, with a single department instance something like that it was n right so previously we wrote that n here but in min max constraint it is more straightforward you can put that in here itself so the, i think this is a way i explain that concept but uh, where to write it is something uh, confusing actually in normal notation uh, we represent like this but in min max notation uh, this n will come here and similarly here also there is one min and max and max uh, was this one and that one will come here okay now what about min after that it will be clear for you Mm, uh, let me tell you the minim minimum participation is as it is total right total means minimum is one here also minimum is one uh, because it is total at least one uh, per depart department should contain at least one uh, employee similarly an employee should be part of at least one department so that is the meaning of this one so let me take a, a different example and uh, this uh, box on let me take uh, so here so, so at this point, if I am using this uh, min max uh, constraint, I will not use this W line and all. Simply use this one alone. Okay, this part alone. So, don't use this one or this W line. So, how can you um, similarly write this works on relationship here? You can see that the minimum participation is something like a total double double line. So, one and the maximum is this n. This n here we are writing here, but in min max constraint we will write that n here like this. Okay, uh, minimum is one and maximum is n. So, put in parenthesis minimum is 1 and maximum is n. And here uh, you can see the minimum is again total 1 and maximum is this m. Okay. So, that is a way. Similarly, if, I, if you are focusing here, uh, it is partial. Partial in the sense minimum 0. 0 people can participate and maximum is this one. Okay. And similarly, here also it is uh, it is total. So, minimum is 1 and maximum is 1. Means that a department contain at least one manager and at most one manager means exactly one manager so a department is not supposed to exist without any manager and it is not supposed to have more than one manager also so one one in the sense exactly one okay so that is a way similarly if you are focusing here um, see uh, minimum is partial so zero okay and the maximum is uh, one employee can have a n number of um, dependents. So, this is a straightforward way. Similarly, here the minimum is total, so 1 and maximum is um, one uh, dependent can be associated with uh, one employee at most. So, it is something like exactly one, every de one dependent entity is having exactly one uh, employee at the other side. Similarly, the supervision, everywhere you can write. So, here the minimum is 0 because it is partial and the maximum is n. 
okay so this and i am writing here so that is why i am explaining with this example and similarly here mm, minimum is uh, zero and maximum is uh, something like uh, one this one okay fine okay so now i i think it is clear so here also le 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 let me try the minimum is what zero here maximum is n similarly minimum is one here and maximum is one okay something like this now you just take this the uh, diagram with the structural constraint is what is shown here so here it was like a one one right one one see that one one i got and next uh, here uh, sorry here i got one and n okay so employee or if if i am looking at uh, mm, this department table it can have a minimum one employee and maximum n employee so by default n means there is no upper upper uh, limit okay that is fine but you know uh, what about a department having a single employee that is actually meaningless right if some work is to proceed uh, some minimum set of employees should be there so making this minimum as one is actually not um, good so you can have a better constraint by that you can you are saying that a department is uh, i can call a, a particular building as a department provided it is containing at least this many number of um, i mean employees so here they are uh, taking like a four and n so the minimum four people are mandatory for making a building as a department something like that okay mm, for having a department maximum there is no limit n so like that similarly Mm, focus on this zero one here also we got zero one okay same thing only i was just comparing how we got it like here uh, this is one one here also we got one one okay so same thing only but at some point some minimum and maximum they might be restricted uh, no i think here only okay anyway uh, you got it right so i'm just removing all this marking otherwise at some later point you may be confused mm, let me remove all those things okay so is it clear how to draw it uh, from this one try to draw the other one okay so actually this is more straightforward to see uh, if i am writing like is uh, more uh, meaningful right i have so what i am saying so uh, see at this point there is no total uh, okay but here this total is still there maybe um, they are using it as a special notation like a weak entity should be related to identifying relation through double line something like that but uh, you can make it single line also no problem i don't know anyway uh, in all other side they removed that double line because that minimum and maximum we are telling i think here also you can remove no problem <laughs> anyway and this i taken from the textbook only and i i don't feel like why that double line it's uh, because that uh, double line meaning i captured with this one right then again one double line it's meaningless according to me so i removed it okay i don't know exactly there is any specific reason for that anyway it is uh, a way of uh, expressing the conceptual design right so <laughs> you can slightly modify it no problem yeah still uh if i i find it meaningless so i uh, removed it because already it is conveyed like that okay that's all yeah that about it so the all double lines are removed but uh, that mean double line the meaning uh, i am representing with one or zero so wherever i am getting a one means it is total participation minimum as zero means partial participation and minimum you can make a number like four also that is what we are trying and maximum as n means uh, any number maximum as one means at most one person right right managers and all okay fine see ah the yeah supervisor also yeah we no, no specific number given anyway i am removing this okay now let's uh, take uh, one more last example uh, i just uh, randomly taken from the textbook like er diagram for a university database schema okay so so far we discussed uh, uh, something called uh, company database now it is university database so when it comes to university database um, even this diagram i just taken only i, I didn't gone through the specification of the mini world and all so there will be some set of so this is something again given as a second example so they are uh, giving specification everything so those who are interested you can read the uh, textbook uh, for understanding specification very clearly but looking at the diagram also we can understand that is why i taken it directly like uh, there is an entity for college having college name college office college phone number like that instructors or the faculties like id what is the rank like a professor associate professor like that some ranking will be there i think so from among the instructors 
name of the instructor i office in the sense instructor office instructor phone number so they are uh, initially they are using some letter indicating this instructor this is college phone college office like that and uh, department is there like uh, different uh, computer science um, electronics like that department name code office uh, phone number student details student id date of birth other things uh, course details like which course and uh, maybe in which section we are offering this so just like our semester system uh, there people are having like a winter summer like the different uh, sections are there accordingly courses will be offered and the instructor teaches a particular section uh, the course is have is uh, in which section this course is being offered department offers a course uh, like that okay department is administered by the college uh, right and college is having a dean and the dean is some of the instructor can act like that department is having a head or chair right like that um, so department is uh, the um, uh, instructors are uh, working as employees in the department like that department has some set of students like that okay now you can think about uh, this constraint like why it is zero why is one uh to why it is partial why it is total mama what about the maximum constraint everything you can think about it so here somewhere some minimum as for five is given let me like that maximum also you can restrict and some of the attributes are there for the relationship also so like that a different example okay so to understand it clearly you have to go through the uh, mini world um, specification so now what you can do is i may be giving us some assignment something some mini world specification and you can try to draw this diagram okay and you know clearly the full rules we are following starting from entity relationship attributes everything okay so this is a summary of your diagram so we gone through topics like sim attributes i mean entity then uh, attribute right attribute itself symbol uh, uh, composite single valued multi valued stored derived entity type uh, sets uh, key attribute uh, value hope you remember these things domains relationship type and their sets participation uh constraints cardinality ratio but is all these are and finally uh, we focused something uh, like uh, the weak entity also, also forgot to add weak entity and finally that uh, structural constraint we gone through and the final uh, er diagram right fine so uh, try to recollect all those things yeah that about it thanks for watching so the topic er diagram is finishing at this point so that is the second half of your first module okay now in the next set of video we will be making videos on um, second module